Hey guys, so in today's video I will show you the DIY bridesmaid proposal boxes that I made or baskets that I made. Um, I feel like that's kind of a new trend. I used to never hear about it and as of a few years ago I've seen all over Pinterest, social media that when a bride asks the girls that she wants to be in her wedding to be her bridesmaids or maid of honors um, then they give usually a gift while they're asking and so I wanted to do something like that for my bridesmaids because I think it's just a cute little touch and also it makes them it lets them know that I appreciate them and that I really you know I want them to be by my side on my wedding day I think it's just like a nice little extra and then usually at rehearsal dinner that's when you give like the jewelry um, or like the robe or whatever it is that you want um, your bridal party to wear like for the photos and for the wedding but I think it's a good idea to just give them at least a little something while you're asking just like a just as a little extra so I'll show you what I did and I have two different um, versions of the basket so one is shaped like this and the other one is shaped like this as you've seen in the thumbnail and the reason I did that was because I went to Michael's and they didn't have enough of either one of them so I just kind of mixed it up and I'll tell you everything that's inside basically everything is the same for the girls except for uh, the maid of honor has one thing that's different so I'll start with that um, and I'll go through everything in the basket I'll be giving it to them today and tomorrow so that's why I'm making this video I wanted to just show it to you before I give it so the baskets I don't know if you can see they're like rose gold with glitter on them and I actually went to Michael's um, to get them because I wanted to order like actual boxes on Etsy or like on Amazon or somewhere that say will you be my bridesmaid will you be my maid of honor or like a cute saying and the boxes that I found were either kind of like the Chinese food type of boxes that were really small or big ones that were too flat and like I have a candle in here and the candle wouldn't fit in there and it would have to be kept open it just wasn't like I couldn't find anything that fits the the exact size that I needed and also they were really expensive they were like $30 some of them and I figured I'll go to Michael's and find some boxes there I originally wanted like glitter boxes kind of like a shoe box without the lid but just glitter and I couldn't find it anywhere it's like the weirdest thing I feel like if I wasn't looking for it they would be everywhere and because I needed them I couldn't find them and I found these baskets. Um, I didn't just want to get just regular baskets. I wanted something that's like a little more glitz and glam. They're perfect. They're the perfect size. The bridal party girls can then reuse it after I give it to them. And I just thought it was cute. And I have a lot of like glitter elements in my wedding as well. And so I figured it would be very fitting. If you were having trouble finding something, head to Michael's, head to like any kind of art and craft store and also um i was thinking to do like those little tote bags that say like made of honor or bridesmaid on it but i really wanted the gifts to be like displayed when i give it to them i don't want them to be shoved in a bag which is why i didn't do that so um let's start with how i kind of organize it so i put a tissue paper and my maid of honor's favorite color is purple so i put a purple tissue paper and a blue um the other ones are blue and pink and then i got this from michael's too these are like little i don't know what they're called but they're like multi-color glittery strings i don't know um so i put it all over the top as well as like inside of something so that when they're displayed they're kind of like up on an on an angle <laughs> i can't think of words um, and so what's inside let's go through it so um, I got a candle and they're all getting it it's called but first champagne and I wanted a candle that fits the wedding um, kind of like a wedding love theme and I found one that's called love uh, from Bath and Body Works and I didn't like too much how it smells and also the label kind of looked cheap to me it was like a faux marble label but it was like the way that it was stuck it was uneven and it looked like it was stuck on there it just like it looked like a sticker so i didn't like it and this one i think it's just very fitting it's about champagne and you know weddings have champagne and it smells really fresh and clean it smells almost like like berry champagne um so it smells really good i love the label i like everything about it i thought it was a cute <clears throat> cute little idea um i also got 
each of them a caress lip butter in the color jasmine or like the flavor jasmine um these are really really good i've never had the jasmine one but i had the guava one which is like clear whitish and i like them they're very moisturizing and i thought a lip balm especially once i'll show you what it looks like on the inside so the inside the lid is pink so i thought that that was of course fitting they had different colors but i chose the pink one and i mean it's jasmine i feel like everyone likes that smell i also got each of them a nail polish and this is essie and i also wanted this is the gel couture which is the best longest lasting polishes that they have and i wanted a wedding themed name as well and i saw a lot of them opi had a lot of um wedding wedding -y names in their nail polish lines but i wanted something that's like a pinkish whitish but mostly white and i just could not find the exact color that i wanted in the opi um wedding named set that they have this one is called dress is more and this is i think like a bridal collection i'm not sure i know they have a bridal collection i'm pretty sure this is a part of it but again it's like wedding theme and that's the color i want them to have their nails done for the wedding so they have a polish already um then i got mugs so this is for my maid of honor and I got this on Etsy. I got one for myself that says bride. You might have seen it in my how to save up for your dream wedding video. I had it in the thumbnail and it just says made of honor with a pink heart and the bottom is hand um, glued glitter. And the, the back of it says the name. So that's Paige, my best friend. Um, so that's what I got for her. And I'll show you what I got for the other girls. Um, I got them mugs that say bridesmaids and this one the mug is from target it was really inexpensive it was a dollar 99 it's pink it's large like microwave dishwasher safe and i got these little stickers on etsy so i'll link the shops that i used below and they send it to you it comes from canada so if you're in the united states it does take about two weeks to get to you so just heads up um, if you want to order it um, and you can pick like different font different colors everything so i got the one that says bridesmaids in gold um and i really love it i think it's really nice and it's a big mug which everyone likes big mugs i feel like and they're definitely gonna get to use it so i love that so the next thing was such a pain to find i was at target I'm not even kidding for like 40 minutes looking for this because when you if you have like the target app on your phone um, and you type in whatever product if they have it in that store you can pull it up on the map and it'll tell you like where you are and where that product is and you can follow the map and I followed it and I could not find it I had help from like three target employees looking for it couldn't find it anywhere finally found it by the register and it's gum and the reason i wanted this specific gum is because it's called fairy tale fruit and it's got a unicorn on it and i just love unicorns i know that maybe i'm too old for it i don't know i just think that they're really i don't know i, I just i love them i think it's very girly and fun and like colorful and i got one for myself and it actually does taste really good um i was testing a couple of things um like gums and gummies to put in the baskets actually the same brand that makes these which is called project seven they make champagne flavored gummy bears and i got those for myself to try out for potentially for the baskets and they don't taste very good and like the packaging is kind of ugly so i ended up just going with the gum i think it's really cute and the last thing in here is a little note so what i did is i wrote a note um to every single one of them and i put like all the other bridesmaids on there and like the wedding party and uh, my mom and peter's mom everyone's contact information on there as well as where to get the dress what is the dress and the date of the wedding which they all know the date of the wedding i wanted them to have the phone numbers to everyone else so like when they need to organize something or do something for like the bridal shower whatever they have each other's phone numbers and you know they can just like talk to each other they don't have to go through me but like you know what i mean like I, I think it's just very convenient to do that so everyone has everyone else's phone numbers and all the contact info and i thought that that was like a nice thing to add on to the basket so people don't have to like worry oh my god who else is in the wedding party i need to talk to them i need their number they just have it all in here and then i rolled it and i put a little heart sticker on it and 
because I'm a little extra, I sprayed everything with perfume. I used the Dior Blooming Bouquet, I sprayed the basket and the paper notes with that perfume. And that's all that I have in there. Um, for some reason, it seemed like it's more, but I mean, it's just a couple things that I thought that would be really cute to include. And then I also wanted to include the bracelet that, um, that I'd like them to wear for the wedding. And I ordered them, but um, they ended up being sold out and my order got canceled. So I will give, them, give it to them at the rehearsal dinner along with like the other things I want them to wear. And also, just FYI, if you are getting married or if you're going to a wedding or anywhere else that needs a nice dress, I'm using Rend the Runway for my um, bridesmaid dresses. And the dress is called, it's Badly Meshka, and the dress is called Forest Gown in green sequence. And it's really inexpensive. Normally the dresses would be like $200. I have so many bridesmaid dresses that like I would never wear again that I didn't really even like. Um, that I spent so much money on and I think it's nice that you can rent the dress and you pick like the how many days you want to rent it for and they send you different sizes if you need um, if you're like not sure which size you would be you can pick two and it's about 60 to 70 to well depending on the dress but the ones that I'm getting that like my bridesmaids are getting they're really beautiful they're full-on sequin gowns and they're I think $60 to rent and plus you get 20% off your first order so I'm not sponsored by them like nothing like that but I just wanted to let you know because it's a good alternative for um, bridesmaid dresses if you just want something less expensive really really beautiful that you don't want your wedding party to have to spend a lot of money on that's it um let me know if you like it or like what i should have maybe included in here and what you had in your bridesmaid gift baskets and thank you for watching i will see you soon